the floor was very slippery, so you can understand acrobatics is a very good skill to have in this situation. Hi, I'm Dr. Stylianos Kirimis. I'm from Greece and I worked in I work in the University of Southampton as a postgraduate researcher. So the goal of Vindrik is industrial decarbonization as we are aware. And where I am based, we have a huge port that's responsible for quite a big portion of the UK's shipping and maritime transport. So while you have electrification of cars, for example, and commercial vehicles that could significantly affect our emission reduction goal, electrification is not always the choice for maritime transport or for aviation, for example, or for heavy duty road transport. And for this, you need carbon neutral fuels, which is what we produce. So I would say, It'll sound weird, but I think mathematical equations, because, you know, they look like hieroglyphics, a language that tries to unlock the keys of the universe. And I think you have a lot of kids that are afraid of physics, they're afraid of mathematics. Don't be afraid of mathematics, they're just a different language. Easy to, difficult to learn, but very rewarding to understand it. So we have a great question from a school student and they want to know what sort of renewable energy is currently used in our everyday lives. Most widely you have wind turbines. I think you see them almost everywhere in the countryside nowadays. And also solar PV is a very big one. And actually I have something very cool to show you. So this is a power bank and it has a solar charging PV in it. So you can charge your power bank with solar, solar energy, and then use this to charge your phone. So your phone could work in 100% green energy, even today. It works better in Greece, not in the UK. So one of my hobbies when I'm not working is sailing, especially sailing in Greece, that's, that's amazing. And I'm also a qualified captain. So yeah, we we're sailing across Greece and we were caught in a storm. And when you're in a storm, the sea tries to invade your boat. And let's say it's not the safest place to be. If you use solar panels, make sure they're screwed in properly because in our case it wasn't. And seeing a 100 kilos solar panel just dangling in the wind next to your head, it's, it's not the funniest thing you can have because it's gonna hit someone. So what me and another one from my crew did, we were holding it with one hand while trying to balance ourselves inside a rocking boat. And the floor was very slippery, so you can understand acrobatics is a very good skill to have in this situation. Uh, but hey, we survived, we're here, and the solar panel is still there to this day, so it went well. What it does of bringing people together, not just people, people from different backgrounds, people from different industries, multiple universities, it's really important because there is no holy grail, there is not one solution fits everything. It's a bunch of different solutions working harmoniously with each other and being interconnected in the bigger system. Because if you don't communicate with the different people, you cannot make an informed decision. You need to understand their perspectives and you need to understand how they think and what are their goals and their motivations. 